This is your level 4 assignment on planning campaigns, July 2020. Now as marketers, communications will take a lot of your time and a lot of your energy and importantly a fair amount of your marketing budgets. Understand your customers, understand your value propositions and then coming up with the right campaign that's really going to make an impact is going to be one of the most exciting things that you will have to do. But if you don't do it right and if you get the wrong results, it could be a very painful exercise. So this assignment is going to take you through that process for you to uh, spend quality time to understand how to plan a campaign for a product, for a service, for a country's tourism, maybe even a politician. So some of you are new to assignments because this is level four. So at Daffodil, you will get a lot of guidance on how to get yourself prepared to do an assignment. And, uh, and you have enough time to do that, how to write, uh, the right format, etc. So if you, if you look at the style of an assignment, uh, there is a professional approach to writing an assignment, uh, the using the right numbering, uh, the Harvard referencing whenever you come up with the right theories to support your work, having the right sources, uh, charts, graphs, tables, diagrams. Uh, this is going to make your work interesting as well as easy for somebody to go through. So more and more you get used to this even at work you'll be good at communicating using the right professional methods of communication. So generally your assignment is a briefing paper or a report and the style of writing is something you will be guided and you could also check report writing, brief pa briefing paper writing skills online. So don't worry too much about it just to understand how you would present your assignment is important. Now the 2020 July assignment for planning campaigns uh, requires you to get a two-page company background done which you have already made progress and uploaded into the Google Classroom which means you've got uh, your feedback as well as you have now got the final uh, guide on doing a company background. So the other important decision that you had to take was on the theme. Is your theme for the assignment on acquiring customers or is it on retaining? So you had four options and what we did was to really go through a proper justification. And that Nike example was about that. How do you justify this theme? Why is it relevant for your company? You can't just make opinions. So that decision was important and the theme is also now included in your company background. So there you go. That gets you into the start of your assignment. So the format of this assignment is a briefing paper as you could see. So when you wonder, okay, how do I write a briefing paper? What's the format of a briefing paper? All you need to do is get into your Google Classroom and in that you could go to your, you already done this, I'm just taking you through if somebody just new, go to your uh, planning campaigns and uh, the guidelines will give you what you need to know. So example, and the Google Classroom is honestly becoming one of the most uh, simple ways of uh, getting your online access. We've tried a lot of options, Moodle, Blackboard, but this one's really uh, simple, just like Google. So if you go and scroll this down, you will find different formats including your font sizes etc for your assignment and uh, in your case you are looking at a briefing paper and there are a couple of examples of what are the key aspects to be included in a briefing paper. Not that I have to do the same format but you could use some guidance to support your work. The other important thing for you is to pay attention to the command words. Now, of course, this is your company background content. So the command word here is illustrate as well as analyze. These are not just words, they are called command words. So it's very important to understand what each of those command words mean. And here's your command word document again in the Google Classroom. So example, if you want to see for your level, you're in level four, uh, this level six for 
level 4 certificate what the command words actually mean so we are looking for illustrate so illustrate but give examples to make your point use wide variety of examples so if you don't pay attention to this and write it's very clear you are not going in line with the examiner's expectations all right so our focus on this uh, brief is on task B and task C so let's see illustrate using examples the benefits to your chosen organization of taking a structured approach to campaign planning so uh, and outline the roles the components of a campaign plan the creative brief and external agencies in supporting campaigns so you will have to read the guidance that is already given under campaign plans which is already again in your google classroom and the right books that are relevant for this topic so you got to access those you can't just pick any book you can read anything online but you got to use the right books and you got to use the original sources not just syndicated uh, documents because without the right source you will a won't learn honestly from the thinkers of these type of concepts uh, as well as you will not get proper marks for referencing the right theory and framework then of course it's about applying to your company uh, with right examples so that's your task uh, 1b so we look at the components of a campaign plan uh, let's say you look at the telsmaker's book which is a co-book for this assignment if you go into uh, the area of uh, if you just browse through the contents under where is advertising so under advertising you will find the campaign development uh, framework so likewise we've discussed in the class the other models available so if you go to the campaign development uh, it's 205 so let's quickly have a look campaign development oh Hey, by the way, you should go through this book. There are amazing, this excellent campaign about become an ex-smoker or uh, it's a good case study. So you can cite these examples of other campaigns and how they've really made a great uh, progress, achieve great objectives. This is what illustrate means, not only these from other published and available case studies. So I'm trying to go through uh, to one minute let's see that's six what's happening here all right so a campaign development plan in this case this is from Pelsmaker. So these are some of those components of a campaign plan. So when you say components of a campaign plan, uh, you could look at frameworks such as this. And but you got to justify why such a, a structured step-by-step -step approach to a campaign plan is important. That's the question, not what the campaign plan is. And you know. If you don't have a planned approach, if you don't understand your target customer, if you don't do that research, if you don't have a structured way, there are enough examples of campaigns failing to achieve the given objectives. Uh, international campaigns which fail to meet the international customer culture nuances. So you could find examples of unplanned ad hoc unstructured unstructured campaigns versus structured campaigns achieving great results and these are to be illustrated which means using the right examples uh, then 
the next part is a creative brief and in any campaign you will be clear that you got to use the agency so this part is all about agencies and how you work with agencies and uh, and specifically this component of a creative brief I'm trying to show you so example if you take uh, the Zook's book which you already have uh, integrated uh, offline and online social media marketing communications book by PR Smith dealing with agencies is a big area and that you would be able to find where there you go so your chapter 8 marketing agencies types of agencies so you could easily find the requirement uh, required theory for this task so how do you brief an agency what are the components of agency and giving an example or two of a brief effective couple of briefs and uh, how having a brief like that helps and at the absence of it how it doesn't help at the same time uh, external agents in supporting campaigns so that whole discussion and then you can go online and read about what some YouTube like we've done in the class uh, so you can support this task and you will get your 15 marks the second part of this assignment is Analyze the influences of both internal and external environments on the development of the campaign plan. So you look at the steps of your campaign plan all along. The environment in which you operate will impact. So when you look at the environment that we've analyzed for Nike, uh, Nike's environment external is not only in USA, but in China, in India, in other European countries. So the environment could be very different and the environmental opportunities and threats keep on impacting what you do. And you got to bring in that examples. How would that have a direct link to your uh, development of a campaign plan? So example, the women's case, we've discussed about the emerging young women trend of getting into sport as well as uh, other internal issues of Nike and its uh, dealings with their workforce, specifically women. So how would these factors impact a key customer segment? So maybe you'll use a table to nicely present this and then you will start discussing a couple of factors, maybe two external factors and two internal factors with examples, necessarily not from your company, but even outside examples. But remember to relate it to yours at the end of the day. So specifically when you look at the environmental context with regard to doing a campaign, you might also want to look at uh, models like the MCPF framework. So the MCPF framework by Chris Phil, uh, is one of the best frameworks for integrated communication planning because it looks at some of the factors that are influencers like your overall company goals say for example nike wants to achieve uh, 45 billion dollars by 2022 in revenue that's coming here because those influence that's an internal influence the company's goals influence what you do with your communications and uh, this model also talks uh, brings into the picture the agencies that you need to work with the research you need to do and importantly for this task it talks about the context analysis the external environmental context and internal so when you read off phil you will get some good theoretical support to uh, drive in this task so finding the right tool uh, for this assignment, any assignment for that matter, is absolutely critical. So, so here, this is illustrate and the command word is analyze. So, maybe two internal, two external, showcase either in a diagram or table and then in paragraph form in line with your format for a briefing paper is the way you will analyze 
uh, what factors influence the customer segment. So your audits done, which are in annexures for internal and external environment, now really matters. Your audits done to the key customer segment. Is it the millennial segment that you really segmented? Is it the aging population, the 55s and above for Nike? We've looked at them, uh, that segment, is that what you looked at? That's the way you could relate it specifically. So example, if you look at the customer life cycle, or let's say you're looking at uh, millennials who are, I mean, a, 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 a two plus family a household, and what's happening in that family and how is the environment impacting that family? And how is that going to be relevant in your campaign plan? So your segmentation variables are going to be very, very important. The digital variables. How does the external environment impact that and how should you look at that in your campaign plan? So a Facebook audience 10 years ago is now an Insta audience in the future. It would move into other platforms. So how would such external technological environmental factors impact your media selection in a campaign plan? Examples, analyze and then you could present your case. So that's just a thought for you to get started. Uh, and uh, your next support from uh, Daffodil Masterclass will help you to clean this task further. So total marks 30, which means you are now getting into the real deal and uh, easy and your life is going to be simple. If you get quickly this first part off, so that you have enough time to build on the rest of the tasks of the assignment.